Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lawland. We are excited to welcome a focus friend of the family, Jen Braff, in the house. Thank you so much for being with us today. And yeah. happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday. You look yeah. amazing. You're like my new mentor. <laughs> Do you mind if we like talk about where's it? Of course okay. not. So you're 60 years old. I would never have thought you are out of your 40s. You Thank are you. dropped it gorgeous. We want to know you. your secrets. I'll have whatever she's <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Well, um, when I turned 40 and I, a lot of people started to ask me, you know, how do you stay looking so young and um, what are your secrets? And the first thing I would say is your attitude. And a lot of people would say, you know, oh, yeah, come on, just give me the good. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> but it, it really is. It, um, you know, everybody talks about positive thinking and yeah, sometimes you can be positive. You know, I wake up every morning and I say how grateful I am for the day. I don't know what's going to happen, but I always try to find the positive out of um, anything that happens. Mm. And in fact, um, I would say the most um, creative times for me and the best times for me to discover myself, to learn more about myself, um, were the times when I, one time I was very ill, it was about five years ago, mm -hmm. and I was kind of stuck, I was bedridden, and it really gave me the time to just kind of focus on what was going on in my life, mm -hmm. and I, I really got to know myself, and I dug deep, right. and, um, you know, spirituality has always been a big sure. part of But I do life. think it, people think that that actually does create age like age you're not because there's a fight or flight thing that happens yes. in the body and if you're relaxed and rejuvenating and having non-stress you have more time absolutely to look better right yes yeah. absolutely and um and then that's the the next time um i had i dislocated and i fractured my pinky toe and i was bedridden again for only 10 days and that's when i sat down and i said i can't i have to do something and i grabbed a sketch pad and a pencil, and I started drawing portraits. Wow. And mm. so um, I'm an artist, and I, I was doing abstract, and I didn't know that that happens a lot. Um, when people ask me, how do you just do things? You know, when I turned 50, um, in my 50s is when I became a professional artist. Um, my dad's an artist, my son's an artist. Um, it goes way back from my dad's side, all the artists. but. I didn't know that I would be able to paint portraits, um, but I didn't ever think, well, you can't. And, and I don't ever think that way. I, I, you know, the older I get, the more I, I get really excited about my future, mm -hmm. which sounds really, um, you know, a lot of people are like, the older you get, the, the you know, you just look at your past mm -hmm. and that's where all the things that you, you know, all your achievements and all the new things, you know, you let them go. But we need more women like you <laughs> in the world. We Thank really you. do, in that we all, we do, we think that it's over. At 40, yeah. it's over, your life's over, as you know it. Like, you are an, a, a symbol for so many women Thank you. to say it's possible. Yeah, and a lot of people will tell you, especially in LA, where, you know, we live in, in the industry, you reach 30, and, and then it's kind of like, okay, well, time to retire because that's kind of, you know, um, what happens. But I don't really, I've, I've worked in the industry. I've been a model. I was a model for 40 years almost. And um, I kind of had to learn how, how to always, you know, keep my body fit. I had to change with the times. You know, I was always, when I was younger, I always said I always said to my my friends I would say you would tell me if I started to wear something funky <laughs> and um, trying to look too young and um, now I just see that the older I get there are new trends that come in and I can't really of course I don't look good in the in the real trendy clothes, but I just kind of always change. It's always learning. But we want to know, what do you do? What's your morning routine? What do you eat? What do you, like, the little things that people okay. Like, okay. Um, well, in the morning, I have a coffee, but I don't drink real coffee. Um, it's uh, it's called Tiemann's, and it's, 
It's a blend of antioxidants. There's a little bit of coffee in there, but there's some like matcha. Mm -hmm. And then I, I add a raw cocoa powder. I make a mocha and I, yeah. and I, I stay away from dairy, stay away from gluten. Um, and my skin is better. I take um, supplements, collagen, peptides, amazing, Hyalur hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. that's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a routine that I've been doing for probably the last 20 years wow. that you know keeps my skin and my hair and my nails healthy from the inside out. Package so, that routine, Sally. Sure. Yes, yes. Yes. I you want to. to. I should, you've got to. With age comes a tremendous amount of wisdom. What do you wish you would have known? What do I wish I would have known? Um, well, I think the, the main thing is that I wish that I would have known that it really didn't matter um, if other people didn't approve of me, mm -hmm. if they didn't like me, if they had, if they were critical of me. Um, because that can happen with your friends and your family, you know, mm -hmm. people that are close to you. You're, you're always going to be disappointed if you count on everybody to, to support you constantly. So I wish I would have learned that it was important only that I felt good about myself and that I liked myself and that I was happy with the things I was doing in my life. Mm. And when I discovered that and I really believed it, then everything was just so much easier. How wonderful you can share that with your new grandbaby. I can't believe I yes. didn't even say that. Yes. That's the most gorgeous grandmother I've ever yes. met. I have a new grand, well, he's six months. He just turned six months. Mm. His name is Logan. And, um, you know, you talk about purpose in life. And I think when I was younger, it was about my purpose was to be happy, to be successful for myself. And now, you know, all the way to, to you know, the other end of it, um, I look at my grandson and I'm just, Oh, I adore him oh. and I have a new purpose and I oh. want to be healthy and I want to be energetic so I can grow with him and I can be there and spend time with him and just be, you know, the grandma that I, I mean, I miss my grandmothers and, <laughs> I, and I want to be there for oh. him. That's so, so beautiful. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tell everyone you. where they can find and follow your journey and, and purchase your art or commission. Of okay. Well, I have uh, I have an Instagram page. It's um, at Jen Braff, and um, Jen Braff Art is my art page where you can see my art. Um, I also am going to start back on my YouTube channel, which will give all the the hints and the tricks and the tips about anti aging, um, and uh, and then. You know, uh, you can see everything I'm doing on my Instagram page and Facebook. In process, not gonna lie. We want to see Thank the you. tips and tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your so number one fan. Oh, Stay you. tuned. We'll be right back.